Hi guys, how's it going? The lighting's probably really bad and the noise is probably really bad as well. But uh, I'm at work. I'm almost finished. I'm on my way home. Uh, and you can see our house from here. Check this out guys. I absolutely love where I live. My house is probably somewhere in the middle of your screen. You look in the middle of your screen now, slightly over to the left a little bit. I'm in one of those houses there. I just thought I'd share this with you at the start of the video. Hi guys, how's it going? Hey, did you like that little introduction? Here we are again, another Saturday, another shave. And I just thought I'd slot that in there. I was on my way home yesterday um, and I drive over that way quite a lot. It's about two or three miles up the road. And I thought, I think the guys would appreciate that view. Hope you liked it. Well, here we are, as you've seen in the thumbnail, we've got an American classic shave lined up for you today. I'll run through the stuff. First off, oh, I forgot to put some water in the John Shaves Super Suck. There you go. And, uh, oh dear. First off, here we go. Get it the right way up for you, there. Uh, the PAA Phantom Aerolite. Check that out, guys. Absolutely love this handle. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. It kind of might not be picking it up, but there's veins running through there. It looks like cracked blue ice. Absolutely. 26 millimeter. We put that in the official John Shears Super Soaker. Uh, the soap we've got today. You see it? Check it out. Discontinued, everybody's getting upset. <laughs> Don't be, it's been discontinued for a reason, but I thought we'd use it today. There you go. And can you look and see what it says on there? Uh, use Aqua Velva Aftershave. There's something about an Aqua Velva man. There you go. There's the book. Got a little picture of a mug on it. I don't know if, the, if it's catching it because of the light, but that's what we're gonna be using today uh, and what we're going to splash up with i got aqua velvet here what i've got that, that's um that's one i've had sat in there i've decanted one of them into this big old glass bottle so we'll be using that one aqua velvet today and we're going to be barming up with this five in one thank you to christopher for sending five in one means I can use that again. Uh, the razor, here we go. Gillette Super Speed 1953. Bought this off a guy in Canada. He sent it over. Um, nice from memory. From memory, it was a nice little shave. I'll be honest with you guys. I'm not overly keen on vintage razors. Uh, that's the blade we're going to be using. There you go. Gillette. Silver blue, what does that say? Do not wipe the blade. What well, comes double rot? Um, there you go. Double rot. <laughs> Gillette silver blue. Just to be a rebel. <laughs> Let's wipe the blade. Oh my word. I'll tell you what, guys, I am so looking forward. Long weekend this weekend. We get Monday off again with pay. It's another one of them, the bank holidays. And we'll shut that down. We'll put that in next to the official brush. Or in the official job. I'm all excited. Like, I'm absolutely exhausted, guys. It's been a long, hard week. Um, I'll just get a sup of my coffee. It's not the shave I had planned, but um, I, I had something else planned. Uh, I might use that in a midweek shave, depending on what, what else comes. That's all I'm saying there. Eh? Oh, I've got Folgers in there. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, my son said to me, you need to stop going. Dad, it's cheesy. Uh, but so after somebody says to me, John, you're cheesy. I'm like, oh, thank you. What a compliment. <laughs> hey, the world needs more cheese. Right, let's crack on with this shave. Um, we've had some people on holiday. And we've, we've all been covering for them. But it's been an absolute grueler of a week. 
this is how I do it guys just use the uh, it's the back so that that doesn't I've seen these going for ridiculous money it smells like um, in here in the UK we get carbolic the big bars of thick green it was green when I was a kid somebody told me it was a different color but when I was a child it was uh, big thick bars of green washing fairy washing soap carbolic soap and primarily when we used to go to the swimming pool before we went in you had to have a shower and they'd have these big thick green bars of this sort of smell just like this there you go let's see where we go with that okay here we go so how are you all doing And you're all ready for the weekend. I am certainly, I am certainly ready for the weekend. Mm. I want to go out for the day tomorrow. Hope the weather stays like this, it's bright and sunny. I say tomorrow, I mean today, Saturday. Oh my word, honestly. There you go. It's not a, um, it's not a very dense lather. But I'll be honest with you guys here, the sun drips off here. Do you know it's slick enough? It is certainly slick enough. You get all these horror stories about it. I mean, at the end of the day, it was something like $2. You're yeah. in the United Kingdom. That's about pound fifty. I mean, it's nothing money. Um, people will say, oh, you can get palm olive for that. Yeah, true. But I don't mind, I don't mind it. It's a novelty. I think I bought this when I was over in New York. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I did, you know what? Actually, I think I, I couldn't get this when I went to New York. And for a memory, I bought it when I came back. So, there you go. So please let me know what you're using in your shades of the day. And you can mention how your week's gone as well. I always like to hear that. I always, I always feel like a bit of a Donny Downer when I come in. Oh, I've had such a bad one. <laughs> oh, but there you go. It's okay. It's doing it. I can see on the brush. See that. Certainly get a shave out of it. If you're in the bind. So let me know as well what your slurp of the day is. You know what mine is? I'm on Jam Shed. And I'll be honest with you guys. I've been looking forward to it for a, since about Tuesday afternoon. Because <laughs> I don't drink during the week. Oh. To be honest, I don't drink a lot at weekend either. But Do you know, I'm sure I had something to talk to you about. Well, not talk to you about, talk, talk about. Oh. But not, as is always the case with me, when I'm sat on my own, guys, I can remember anything absolutely anything somebody asked me something and I'm like 
No. <laughs> Gone. Absolute blank. What do you think of these silver blues? This one feels quite smooth, actually. It's not, um... Not the sharpest blade I've ever used, but it's certainly quite smooth. Yeah, this, uh... When I very first started shaving, first razor I bought was as a lab lot because it was dirt cheap. To get me started. And then on my journey I bought um, What's the other one called that I've got? A Gillette Slim. Although somebody said to me... Can I ask why you think that's a Slim? I said because that's what it was listed as. And they said... I'd get a second opinion if I was you on that because that looks like a fat boy to me. So I might send it off, get it replated, get it fixed. I don't think the um, I don't think the uh, things right across here. Because every time I use it and I turn it round. I just get a little nick here and there, you know. There you go. Let's see what we've got left. That's our three passes. Check this out. Williams. People. People struggle to get a ladder with Williams. Send them over to Johnsville. Like I said, it's not the greatest ladder in the world, but... It's a lather. And it's certainly serviceable. There you go. And it stayed on the on the brush long enough for us to get a lather bins, didn't it? There you go. Oh. And that's it. That's how we shave, guys. The sun's shining. We've got a day off. Oh, and we're going to the seaside what more could you ask here we go do you reckon to that do you know what even now my skin actually feels quite nice um, not the closest of shaves but certainly respectable I wouldn't go, I wouldn't go for a job interview with this bulb, certainly, certainly, here we go, aqua velva, oh, and if I could give you one piece of advice, oh my word, I just, I love this stuff, I absolutely love it, if I could give you one piece of advice, as regards aqua velva, if you can, get it in glass, Um, here we go, Aqua Velva 5 in 1 that guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, get it in glass. The difference, I put mine in glass and then went back 24 hours later and the difference was unbelievable. It's much mellower, much sweeter, but um, the notes really seem to come through a lot stronger. It really, really, and I found that right across the board. Uh, I've got my Clubman's in glass as well. Oh, to the point I was buying cheap bottles of aftershave, showering it every day just to get to the glass bottle to put stuff in. That's how good glass is. Oh my word, there you go. Anyway, we did okay, didn't we? Here we go, shave chaser. I've got another PA one as well, but I'm not telling you what that is. Look after yourself, guys. Have a wonderful weekend, bank holiday. Um, drive safe. Lots and lots of cars out on the road this weekend. Lots and lots of cars. And you know what? It's like I say to my daughter, I'm okay. It's the other people out there that seem to have a death wish. But anyway, look after yourselves. Remember, 
be the change you wish to see in the world uh, and I will see you all on Wednesday. <laughs> oh man, I'm so tired. I will see you all on Wednesday. Have a nice week. Bye.